Hi everybody, this is Rob and Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby and today we're taking a look at the Multiplex Pilatus PC6 Turbo Porter Receiver Ready. It's uh, yes, model after this, the extremely popular and legendary Swiss manufacturer's uh, aircraft, prototype aircraft. Uh, short takeoff and landing, S-Tall aircraft, famous for that. Uh, short takeoff and landing in, in mountainous regions. I guess, you know, Swiss Alps type stuff, Sure, right? sure, sure. I'd land right on the side of the Swiss Alps. Just, just drop, it's just let the like Sherpas fall out the flying. back and take off. <laughs> like a house fly. Yeah, we received the uh, uh, receiver ready kit, which goes together quickly. In fact, we did an assembly clinic on this, so you can go out to our website or check our YouTube channel, and you'll see the full detailed assembly, which really isn't, in fact, I would argue that this is the easiest and shortest amount of time I've ever spent with a with a multiplex model. Mm -hmm. And that, multiplex models typically they're modeled in you know the uh, Elipore foam and they're a kit. It's, yes, you've got molded halves, fuselage halves, yeah. and you got to put everything inside. With it being receiver ready, everything's already in. You know, all the stickers are on. We've seen stuff that isn't that complete, you know, that are receiver ready for receiver yeah. ready before. So this has pretty much everything. All the paint is applied. It's it's really ready, very close to to being up and ready to fly. Uh, other than having to do, do your control surface adjustments, which you typically do on a you know on a full house or full boat, um, sure. you know setup, you've got flaps as well. And in, in fact, they're what you would call barn door flaps. If you notice how far those go down, you can do full 90 degrees on the flaps, which is uh, you know again for that short takeoff and landing. Um, I would think those operation. are more like garage door flaps. Garage door flaps. Yeah, but they're offset hinge too. You know, so, I mean, there's some cool stuff going on here. Be sideways. There's yeah. some innovations, Rob. Let's jump into the uh, specs. The uh, Multiplex Flat is PC6 Turbo Porter. 49.2 inch wingspan. Overall length is 36.6 inches. All up weight, 38.8 ounces. The motor is a Multiplex Permax 3530 1100 kV brushless outrunner. Prop is 11 by 5.5 electric. ESC is a 40 amp with internal uh, battery linear circuit or BEC. Required battery is a 3S 2100 to 2700 milliamp LiPo battery, 45C discharge. A lot of room in there to play with different sizes. Required radio system, six plus channel, uh, transmitter and receiver. If you use a Y adapter on the ailerons, if you uh, want to run ex exclusive channels to everything, you're going to need a seven channel receiver. Uh, price to time of this review is $209.99. Uh, two Brothers setup transmitter we used was our Aurora 9X 2.4 gig. Receiver was an Optima 7. And the flight battery we chose to test with is a TP2250 3SPR45, 3S 11.1 volt. Uh, 45C LiPo for Thunder Power, that's 2250 milliamp. And uh, something to note too, this isn't available yet in the U.S. Uh, due late May. This is when this will be. Yeah, I know. This How is, do we have one? This is one of the samples off of the uh, the first container, I think. So they're not they're not in stores as of right now. So let's get to the... Uh, feel you feel privileged. special, don't you? Yeah, yeah. a little yeah, bit. Special. Just a little bit. It happens once in a great while. They'll, they'll throw us a bone, you know? A little bit. Manufacturer be like, hey, yeah. you know what? Two brothers, remember those guys? Hey, yeah. Remember those we'll guys? We'll give you an exclusive, fine, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you bug them enough. All they remember is a good looking one on the right. <laughs> yeah, from where I'm sitting, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not what they see. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and switch over to flight footage. We'll give kind of a preface. <clears throat> Time of the year. Early yeah. spring. May. We're up here in Rob's neck of the woods, so yes. it's gusty, windy, 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 windy. North winds today. Yep. Terrible. Um, Chilly, cold. Very, and where we were flying, it's it's very pockety. It's that yeah. kind of wind that just whips from the left, from the right, and it's just you think it's pretty consistent out of the north, but as soon as you get in the air, you, you realize everything's kind well, of Well, you know, we around. had a tree line in, in to the east of us. We had a big set of buildings behind us. You yep. had a lot of heat coming off those buildings. You had a lot of wind coming down between the two of them. And yeah, it just went. It's it made for... Really bumpy flying. Yeah. In, in fact, um, I went with the factory recommended CG on our initial flight, and uh, it was really tossing me all over the yeah. place. So I went ahead and moved the battery a little further forward, kicked that nose down, add some more forward CG. Yeah, it really leveled out the flight a lot. Yep. So um, with any plane, you're going to want to play around with your CG. You never go past or never go after the recommended uh, CG point, but you can always go forward a little bit and play with it. And again, the more forward to a point, uh, the more stable the flight. And in fact, with a flap, with a plane with flaps on it, a little more forward CG, you can slow that approach down quite a bit more. Yep. So, um, anyway, let's take a look at the footage and then make sure you come back for part two for the review scoring. <laughs> 